Welcome back to Twitch.tv. My name is Kanal Batra. I'm a senior technical evangelist with AWS, and I'm joined here with Alexander. Alexander, can you quickly introduce yourself? Hi, Kunal. Uh, my name is Alexander Simovic. I am a senior software engineer at Science Exchange, uh, AWS Serverless Hero, and uh, one of the authors behind serverless applications with Node.js. Awesome. You just mentioned that you're a serverless hero. Can you just tell us a little bit about what is a serverless hero? So AWS Serverless Hero is a, is a group of uh, serverless experts, uh, serverless engineers, and architects which are, uh, I would say, in love with serverless, and they are trying their best to um, grow the community and help the community use serverless uh, as much as possible. That's great. So you recently co-authored a book on building serverless applications with Node.js. Can you tell us a little bit about that process, and was it similar to building serverless applications in general? Now, that's a good question. Uh, actually, no. Uh, writing a book is a more tedious and difficult process than actually writing a serverless application. So serverless applications are very easy to develop and deploy, while book is, I would say, a very long process and a very difficult one. Can you talk a little bit about what you learned while writing that book? So while writing the book, uh, we learned that the focus is on the business value. So what is the value we are providing to our customers? And serverless actually is that. So serverless provides incredible value to, to the customers and people who are actually building that, building uh, with serverless. So yeah, that was the main thing we discovered. What was that catalyst that got you into serverless applications? Hmm, well, there are actually two stories. The first one is, as I mentioned, the business value of serverless. So I was able to develop, deploy, test, and experiment with different things very, uh, very fast, very quick. But the other one was actually, uh, the other one was that a friend of ours, he came to our meetup early 2015, and he basically just you know, talked to us about uh, infrastructure where you, you know, pay zero for it. And uh, we were like, how does it happen? So in that sense, we looked at it, and we immediately fell in love with serverless. That's awesome. And to turn that around, what tips would you give now to someone new getting started with serverless? I would say just start. Uh, you will immediately see the benefits of serverless, how quick and uh, how fast you are to build and deploy applications. Awesome. And then uh, one last question over here. I know you're an avid contributor to the AWS serverless application repo. How do you choose what components to open source and commit? Um, I'm focusing on what brings the biggest value and the, the, biggest, uh, the biggest benefit to other fellow developers. So if I'm doing an uh, application that's for shipping, I would say I would extract a certain part which is for shipping and uh, make, it uh, make it publicly available and uh, shareable on serverless application repository. This way, everybody benefits the most. That's great to hear. Well, Alexander, thanks for joining us, and uh, back to you guys.